This is Tim Weir with a video clip from SemiHomemadeTools.com. So it's only been a couple of weeks since we got the router uh, built. We're still doing a lot of finishing touches on it, getting everything lined up and so on. And one of the videos I posted, somebody mentioned that it didn't have dust collection on it yet, and, and they were right, because I really hadn't decided exactly how I was going to do it, and, I, and I'm still not sure how it's going to ultimately end up. But I do know that last night, or well, that this last week, I had to make a, a part and I'll get in closer to see if we can see this. This is a, a black plasticky material. It's called Delrin. And I need to make a part for the garage door opener. And this is the part that we made. And it made an unbelievable mess. It just it was terrible. It was, it was black dust every place. So I decided it's time to go ahead and move the, the dust collection up the priority list just a little bit. And so last night we went ahead and designed up uh, a shoe that we could use at least temporarily until we make our final decision as to how it's going to go. And uh, just made it out of scrap materials that I had around here. Uh, it's some half inch uh, plywood and a couple of pieces of it. Um, we've mounted some some uh, magnets in it so that this will just fit up and uh, went ahead and just used some brush. I didn't have a, enough of the uh, of the two inch brush to go all the way around it so we went around as far as we could and I had a little bit of three inch brush left out left over so I just cut that down a little bit and put that in again this is this is all just temporary uh, until we see how well it works and then at that point we can uh, go ahead and finish up the final design. Final design will undoubtedly not be out of plywood or any kind of wood. Um, I anticipate we're going to make that out of uh, either uh, polycarbonate uh, or we'll make it out of um, acrylic. We want to be able to see through it as we're going so we can see what's, what's going on with the cutter. But for now, just for testing, uh, this is fine. So, like I said last night, we kind of drew this up and uh, cut it out real quick and um, mounted the brush last night. And we're just now ready to give it kind of the first test. And uh, before we do that, I'll uh, take the camera off. And we're going to come down here and kind of try to show you from underneath the design. Give you a sense of what... Uh, what it is, we just have a hole big enough for the router uh, and of course then for the for the air but uh, we just have a a screw going through the back there that holds it on by tension and uh, seems to be good and solid so we're real happy with that and all we're going to do is uh, do just do a little pocket hole here um, not very deep, it's just like we're going to do some servicing this is just a test, and honestly, this is the first test. I have not had this, not had it turned on yet, um, where I've done any cutting with it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. I've already got my height set uh, and my pocket program set up. So I'm going to turn this on and go ahead and we'll let it start and uh, kind of let the dust flow. And hopefully it flows right up the, uh, right up the hose so that we don't have to be breathing it. Get in here where we can get in here where we can see what's going on. All right. Got everything set. We turn on the dust collection. And we'll go ahead and uh, fire off the program. So far it's looking pretty good, doesn't appear to have any dust coming out around the edges. When we're done we'll be able to pull that off and, and see what we have uh, underneath.
starting to see the edge of the circle there when it moves over to the side and it's looking really, really clean. Only got a couple more passes to go around the edge and we'll be done. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera right in and we will bring the spindle up and see what we've got. Oh boy, that, that is nice. I can barely barely get any on my fingertips and that's just from that's because we're rubbing it and obviously you're going to get that on any wood. There is a little bit back here so it does look like we've had a little bit a little bit of blowout back there. Uh, I don't know for sure why. We'll have to look at that but certainly we're not getting anything out the sides, we're not getting anything out the front and we're not getting anything uh, left in the middle and uh, the best part of all see, there's the part in back so we'll have, to, we'll have to take a look at that but the best part of all is I'm not breathing it uh, and cleanup is going to certainly be a lot easier just for the fun of it here I'm going to see what happens if I were to try to uh, let me bring that out a little see if I can go down and just manually suck that up and see what happens That seems to have gotten rid of it, so um, I don't know. Maybe we just, like I said, maybe just have a little bit of blow out the back. Maybe it didn't have it. Uh, maybe it isn't sealed down quite as well. I'm going to end up with three different uh, shoes to fit on there, and they'll all fit exactly the same. Just make three di three different pieces like this, and each one's going to have a different height. We're going to have some one inch. This is the two inch, and I will do some three inch just for when we have to use longer bits. Um, because I think the ideal is to just have this just touching like that most of the time when you're working. You don't want to be forcing it down like that. That actually is going to put quite a bit of forces on the spindle itself as you change directions. But having it just the right height, I think, um, is going to make it work really well. And, of course, we don't want it up too high. So uh, I, I think three of them, one inch, two inch, and three inch, is going to work really well. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and order some good brush and order a new uh, a new holder for it all the way around and go ahead and get some new ones made. But, but for right now, until those come in, this uh, seems like it's going to do the job. This video is presented by Semi Homemade Tools, where we help you create and build tools to fall in love with. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now.
We welcome you to visit us and find lots of other free information at semihomemadetools.com.